Have you been using robotic affirming and you're not seeing results? Also, do you feel that when you're doing robotic affirming that it's kind of unnatural or that it's something that feels like a chore? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my tips and tools on how I've been able to use robotic affirming to saturate my subconscious mind for faster and more effortless manifesting. All right, plus, I'm going to share the secret to what I've been using to make robotic affirming work even faster and even better, okay? So you want to stay tuned to this video because really and truly, robotic affirming is not a trick. It's not something that is like new and fresh. Believe it or not, robotic affirming has been around since the beginning of time. The term robot is what I think people are getting tripped up on. What we are really talking about is something that Joe Dispenza, Joseph Murphy, and Louise Hay all have been teaching for the last 30, 40 years or even more about how to affirm consistently, incessantly, like a mantra. So I want you guys to understand that robotic affirming is a fancier, more new, refreshed way of just saying that you are repeating your affirmations like a mantra. And when you talk about mantras, mantras are specific things that mean something to you or something that you're looking to manifest and you're doing it consistently, incessantly, consecutively in a session. Now there's this whole thing going around the manifestation community about one of Neville's students who meditated or he quote unquote robotically affirmed for about 16 hours, got himself into this state of knowing. And then shortly after that, he became a millionaire. And while that sounds really good for all of us to do this technique, here's where some of the pitfalls may come in with trying to hop on a trend like that. And I'm gonna share with you some things that I did so that I didn't get tripped up with robotically affirming to the point where I was exhausted. Here's what I would say the do's and don'ts are of robotic affirming. Do set an intention and consistently say your affirmations. Start small. Start with maybe a minute to five minutes of just repeating the affirmation, getting into the rhythm of repeating it. You can set timers to do this. I know some of you guys work nine to fives. However, on your breaks, you can do this as well. Um, in my Sweet Spot membership, which is my own personal membership within the YouTube channel and off of YouTube, like my actual website. Some of the members um, are obviously a part of my YouTube subscribers. We have been doing seven day mental diet resets with affirmation challenges for a year now. I do them all the time and they're very effective because they help you to focus. Robotic affirming is really here to help you to focus. So if you're doing it to the point of exhaustion, exhaustion where you're feeling like you're doing something that is making you feel anxious or giving you obsessive thoughts, I want you to take a break from it. Those, these are the do, do's and the don'ts, by the way, this section. So the don'ts of robotic affirming is we don't want to do things just because it's a trend and then we end up harming ourselves more than helping. I want you to assess how you feel when you're doing robotic affirming. Does it feel effortless? Does it feel like it's flowing off of your mouth and your tongue? Like it's just, my things are coming to me. Everything is working out in my favor. I'm so thankful for my beautiful blessings. Everything is working out in my favor. All things are working out in my greater good. Are you able to just repeat that over and over and over with it, with it flowing effortless? Or are you, as you're repeating it, feeling anxiety? I want you to acknowledge that that is not the natural state of knowing that what you're doing is working, the techniques that you're doing affirm that they always work. And I want to talk about, too, the, the great things that I've learned about robotically affirming just to test it out to make sure that it wasn't just a trend that I was hopping on. Obviously, I am a coach. I do have a group membership of people who look to me for guidance. And so I'm never going to bring them something just because I saw a content creator go viral for it. Here's what I have learned, though. The science behind repetition is there. It does work. And what I would suggest you do, these are the do's of robotic affirming. 
do set yourself up for success by doing this when your mind is open. So early in the morning, when you're waking up, your mind is open. The subconscious mind is like very, very susceptible to your suggestions. That's when you can saturate your mind with those robotic affirming affirmations of whatever it is that you desire to have. And then also when you're going to sleep right before bed in that state akin to sleep, robotic affirming has gotten me the most results by doing that. Absolutely, 100%. If you want to know my pro tip on how to know that robotic affirming is working for you, test out saturating your mind before bed. And when you wake up the next day, ask yourself how you feel when you wake up the next day. Just from right before you're going to bed, maybe taking a minute to five minutes. Because remember, 10 hours is a lot to do. And by the way, I did do a reaction video to a gentleman online. I'm going to put his um, name up on the screen. And I'm going to give you guys the link to his video in the description box. Basically, he actually recorded himself for 10 hours. 10 hours of affirming 10 affirmations. When I tell you I was so impressed by that, because he didn't just get on a video and said, yeah, I did it. And then made the video about how he did it. He showed you how he did it. And so if you're interested in my reaction to that, you can check the video up above that I did. I did a live reaction to it. Um, so yeah, there are people who are getting results. And so the easiest way to saturate your subconscious mind is through repetition. You can choose to do 10 hours if you want to. You can work your way up to one hour, then three hours. However, in doing all of this, it's all for you to do one thing which is to help you to focus on the end result and to block out the negative obsessive thoughts against what you desire to have in your own desired reality. And so you get to pick. Do you want to affirm for eight hours or do you want to affirm in the morning time, early in the morning, like I suggested, and then right at night? And in between, this is what I've been doing, my secret the thing that people are not talking about that works even better than robotic affirming throughout the day when you may not have the time or the energy to just be repeating over and over and over and over and over for three hours. <sighs> subliminals, subliminals, subliminals are just as effective as the robotic affirming that you're doing out of your mouth. Because remember, the name of the game is to saturate the subconscious mind with a new belief. A new belief. We are already in our desired reality in our imagination. Yes, we are. We are already living in the wish fulfilled in our imagination. We are going about our day, living, doing, being, having the things, right? However, when we are listening to subliminals, the beautiful thing about subliminals is that they're playing in the background so you can still go about your day. You're not over stressing yourself with the robotic affirming because you have work, you have children to take care of, you have to exercise, you have to sleep. So subliminals are going to work even more effective than 10 hours of robotic affirming. I'm just keeping it real. You can sit and robotically affirm for 16 hours and the next day you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel great. You can also listen to your subliminals while you're sleeping for eight hours and still get the same results. This is what people are not telling you. And so what I wanna leave you with is what makes you feel good? Does the idea of effortlessly manifesting through listening to a subliminal tape while you sleep makes you feel great? That's still a part of repetition, which is what robotic affirming is. Or do you want to do a challenge where you can consciously, while you're awake, robotically affirm so that you can saturate your mind and kind of ward out those spiraling thoughts? So you get to the side, but all paths lead to one thing, alignment and you focusing on the wish fulfilled.
that is the one thing I want you guys to understand. And so with that being said, there's something that you can also do for me. You can share this video with someone who is looking to manifest their dream life by saturating their mind. If you would like to know anything that I do when it comes to personalized subliminal recordings, check out the description box because not only are they affordable, but you will change somebody's life if you suggest to them this video and get them to get a recording. I've right now at this moment of making this video serviced about a hundred people in the past two months with personalized subliminals. This is something that you can give someone or you can decide that you're going to do this for yourself. It's worth testing it out because what do you have to lose? And guess what? If you don't want to purchase subliminal recordings from me, you can always make your own. I don't care if you purchase them from me or not. Make your own and please tell somebody else that they can change their lives by not having to robotically do, 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 do. That's not what the robotically affirming is. It's basically doing it as a mantra, doing it as a mantra. If you don't have time to do that, invest in learning how to make your own subliminals with your own voice or seek out a service from someone who can provide it for you. I love you guys dearly and you have a blessed day wherever you are. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.